All right. What's up with y'all? It's your boy Rock. And you see what it is. Back with another Kwame video. And this one, he got Angela Stanton and Maj Teray up on there. And it's mostly on this video. It's mostly going to be Angela Stanton talking because she, she goes in on D-Wade, man. D-Wade, I'm, I'm not sure if y'all knew, but D-Wade actually turned his son, Zion, because I'm going to just blame it on the father. Because that's where everything that happened, in my opinion, like this is just like me. I'm a father, and I, me you know, me and wifey got a house. If we lose the house, the first thing people going to ask is, what did Anthony do? That's the first thing. <laughs> you know, that's the first thing. My bad, Rock, y'all know me as Rocket Child. But they're going to ask, well, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? So, D-Wade, how do you let this happen? How do you let this happen? But I'm not going to talk too much. I'm uh, I'm going to let them get up in it because I don't really want to say too much and kick my... You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to say nothing. I just look. You can say something wrong nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Look, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't let this happen. You know what I'm saying? And God gotta remember, the kid is only 14 years old. But let's 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 get right into it. Uh Kwame Brown and Angela Stanton. Angela just said. The, the representation of gay men is promiscuity, uh, uh, you know, uh, wearing devil horns everywhere, so forth and so on. If if I as a straight man said that, they would attempt to <laughs> thing. But when you ask that question, I don't think they've gener generally sat back with that for a minute and said, why is this being presented to me? When I say, again, when I say it to my gay homies, they go, nah, bro, don't none of us move like that. It's no different than some men and again i don't care what you do i really don't care i don't care that's your individual choice but when it comes to asking a question if you're try attempting as a as a drag queen or a transgender women don't move like that bro when women just don't it's a certain level of this, class, grace i think this and this is this this is what this is what i want to say right we've been living we we gay people have been around us for a long time there's no type of Phobia, right? It's just, it's not new. We know that people are gay. What is new though is the way that they are pushing it on these children, right? If you gay and, and that's how you move, like I don't understand why I'm in Miami and people can bring children to an adult entertainment spot to show men, right, pretending to be women, get butt naked, but a man can't take his son in the Magic City. Like even when Boosie says something, everybody like, well, wait a minute, Boosie, you 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 can't say nothing about Dwayne Wade. You had somebody perform fellatio on your son. I'm asking myself, and I'm just asking the question, what's the difference? If Dwayne Wade can turn his 12-year-old boy into a grown, sexy woman, why can't Boosie groom his child as well? Why he can't groom his child to be straight? I don't understand the double standard. But what I will say this, when it comes to children, we need to let children be children. That We shouldn't be perverted them with any type of sexuality, not heterosexuality, bisexuality, transsexuality, hell, gay, any of those things that are sexual, why can't we just keep it away from children? Facts. Facts. I mean, look, D what? D what? Not to mention, I had to do a Google search. Zaya... This was I used to be Zion, Zaya. But you know what? I ain't even gonna do D Way. You know, everybody know I'm fair, right? So I'm gonna let D Way get his words in on why he letting all this go down. Let's get it. And we are we are proud, when I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus uh, community. And we're proud allies as well. Um, and we, we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when I when our child comes home with a question, when our child comes home with an issue, when our child comes home with anything, it's our job as parents to listen to that, to give them the best information that we can, the best feedback that we can. Um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it. So once Zaya, 12-year-old, came home, um, and first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. And I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally...
And we are, we are proud. When I say proud, we are proud parents. So that's what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? But Angela Stanton ain't done. Let's get it. Until you've been told you're going to be deplatformed. You, you, they're not going to accept you. I don't even believe that people like Dwayne Wade, and, and maybe, maybe I ain't made $200, $300 million yet. I don't know. I don't even think they believe a lot of the stuff that they say. I, I need I just, to get I, that boy back to his mama. Where is the baby mama? Get that boy back to his mama. Last I saw the mama, she was holding up a sign somewhere, sitting in front of a tree, talking about she was begging for money. Get the boy back to his mama. I couldn't imagine being a mother watching somebody who has not given birth, who has not carried a child, could be put in my position to mother my child totally against, right, something that I agree with, right? Going too far, right? If we have children that have issues and we need to try to let them figure out who they are, we definitely shouldn't be encouraging it, right? You don't put your 12-year-old son in the dress and have him switching and sashaying and shit with your fiance with his lip gloss popping and stuff like as a man you should not be grooming your child right to act as a woman well you see what it's just like i was saying earlier because she a woman that's what everybody gonna say they gonna be like well what 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 the man what the man of the house do how did he control the situation d-way man it's following you because y'all already know i'm probably about to get a little raw right here but women, women get fucked. They don't fuck. So you need to think about that, right? When we, we're talking about our sons and we are raising them right to be men, because at the end of the day, regardless of what your sexuality is, we have to know in our mind who we are, right? And another thing that we have to do is understand that transgender and gay is not the same thing. Right. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and I was like, oh, Angela, I just can't understand. I just can't understand why you so hard on your gay son, why you just can't accept it. And I say, I love my child. I don't nobody love him. I fight, kill anything about him, touch him in front of me, right? He mine, I love him. But there's a difference in a man knowing that he's a man, right? And his preference being man, than someone believing that they are in the wrong body, okay? There, those are two different things. When you go to believing that you are in the wrong body, it, that leads down to hormones, dismemberment. That's a whole nother thing. So right. there is a difference. So the reason why these people have, or that party has so much power is because they're all inclusive. When it come to us, we allowing too much stuff to divide us. Like I went, Kwame put up a post that we was finna get ready to go on. Yeah, so she about to go in on that, but we gonna stay right here, but cause, uh... This is serious. I want to remember she was saying, give her back. This is why she's saying, give, or give him back. Because of stuff like this. Just because y'all got to see what's really going on. Tell us you've watched 10 Things I Hate About You without telling us you've watched 10 Things I Hate About You. We'll start. And you can be overwhelmed. And you can be underwhelmed. Can you ever just be whelmed? I think you can in Europe. Right. See? This Instagram right here. Ah, boy. So listen. We gonna end it off like this because I didn't want to make this go out too long, but I'm gonna let D-Way explain one more time. And then y'all can explain in the comments, man. But, uh, holy sacrifice. I mean, this is, you know, they t talk about people that, uh, I ain't even gonna get into that. Let's go. And we are, we are proud, when I say proud, we are proud parents um, of a child in the LGBTQ plus uh, community. And we're proud allies as well. Um, and we, we take our, our roles and our responsibility as parents very seriously. Um, so when our, when our child comes home with, a question when a child comes home with an issue when a child comes home with anything it's our job as parents to listen to that to give them the best information that we can the best feedback that we can um, and that doesn't change because sexuality is now involved in it so once Zaya 12 year old came home um, and first Zion everybody I don't know if everyone knows originally named Zion Zion born um, as a boy came home and said hey uh, so I want to talk to you guys um, you know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth. 
and I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so in turn, and we are in, in turn, you get this. Tell us you've watched 10 Things I Hate About You without telling us you've watched 10 Things I Hate About You. We'll start. And you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed. Can you ever just be whelmed? I think you can in Europe. Right. So let me know what y'all think, man. It's the end of the video. Dwayne Wade. Where I come from, this ain't cool. Where I was raised, the whole nine. This, this ain't cool. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Catch y'all on the next video.